Hey rock stars, a list of caveats and disclosures before we start this video. Welcome to the first video in my series of five minutes on IP. What is IP? Intellectual property rights. What are the five intellectual property rights? We'll get into that soon. Here are the caveats and disclosures. I am not an attorney. I cannot give legal advice. I am a registered patent agent, which means I can prosecute patents with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. I can help you get a patent, but beyond that, I cannot give legal advice. Everything I'm going to be talking to you about today, you can find on Wikipedia or other law firm websites. Please seek them out if you'd like more information. I do have an attorney on my team that can give legal advice, and if you'd like to reach out to me or him for some information about what I'm going to talk about, I will leave my email address below. Do not. So big caveats here. Do not put in the email what your invention is. Just put in the email that you'd like to talk about an invention or an idea that you have. Don't, don't disclose it in the email. This is huge. I hope that everyone listens to this part. In the comments below, if you have an idea or an invention, don't say, hey, I developed something. I have an idea for X and then put it in the, the comments below because you will be publicly disclosing your invention there and it's not protected at all, which means that you may be losing intellectual property rights on that. You're starting a clock in the United States for patenting your idea and you have just destroyed your, some of your foreign rights. So do not, do not do that. Big, big caveat. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what I wanted to talk about. So there are five intellectual property rights. You have copyrights and trademarks, which you as YouTube creators are probably going to run into the most and you have to be very, very careful with these. That's not legal advice, that is general knowledge information. Trade secrets, patents, and trade dress. So as a YouTube creator, you're going to run into copyrights and trademark issues most more often than patents, trade secrets, or trade dress. If you have any questions, if you would like legal advice, email me at the address below and I will help you connect with an attorney that can help answer your questions. Remember, I know you've probably heard that there's such a thing as fair use. Fair use can only be determined by a court. An attorney can't figure that out. You can't figure it out. It can only be determined by a court. There are some guidelines that the industry has to check and see if it looks like it's more or less likely a fair use, but the only person that can ever determine that, the only entity that can ever determine that is a court. Be very careful when you want to use somebody else's work. It's always better to ask for permission than forgiveness. So as YouTube creators, you're going to run into copyright and trademark issues more than you're going to run into patent issues. But let's talk about each. So what is a copyright? A copyright protects an artistic work, and there are seven categories of things that can be protected by copyrights. Your videos that you make, you own the copyright. What are trademarks? Trademarks protect the mark used for a business the mark used in commerce. If you sell your product or your services over state lines, you can get a federal trademark through the United States Patent and Trademark Office. If you just sell your goods or services within state lines, you can register with your state and have it trademarked there. What are patents? Patents protect new and useful inventions. Not uh, just ideas, it can't be abstract, it has to be a real idea, like perpetual motion machine cannot be protected by a patent. Two things are required in order to get a patent. The idea must be new and it must be non-obvious. What non-obvious means is that if, here's an example, if you have a chair and the chair has four legs and a back, and your chair is red, but somebody else invents a blue chair, but it has four legs and a back, that is an obvious variation. Now if someone invented a chair with three legs and no back, then that is not an obvious invention. What are trade secrets? Trade secrets are proprietary information that companies have developed that they work to keep secret that are not in the public disclosure, which means that the public doesn't know. You can do an internet search or a library search and not find the information. Uh, once it's disclosed to the public, your trade secret is gone, and there are a lot of things that you need to do in order to protect it. If you want more information on that, please email at the address below. Again, do not describe what it is. Just say, I'd like information on this. All patents start out as trade secrets, so this is something very, very important, and I touched on it before. Do not disclose your idea publicly. What does that mean? That means that if you tell anyone, including your spouse or family, about your idea, and they're not under an 
obligation to keep it confidential and you haven't told them that you're maintaining the rights to your idea, you've started a clock ticking in the United States, you have one year to get your patent application on file, and you've destroyed some of your rights in foreign jurisdictions. What is a patent? So a patent is a document that the government gives you granting you a small time to be able to exclude others from using your idea, from making, selling, using your idea. It doesn't mean a patent doesn't give you the right to make, sell, and use your own idea. And we'll, we'll get deeper into this in my next video that'll be called Five Minutes on Patents. Trade secrets. I was there. So trade secrets are proprietary information that the company has kept secret that gained them market advantage. And trade dress. What is trade dress? Many, many IP um, folks don't talk about trade dress. Trade dress is the packaging of a product or how a product is dressed and that the public knows the product by the dressing. So for instance, if you see a white coffee cup with a green circular logo, who is that? If you know the brand just by those two things, that's the trade dress of that company's product. If you know who that is, pop the name down in the comments below. That's it. Do not tell me that you have an idea. Do not disclose your idea down below. So this was five minutes on IP rights. If you need some more information, if you'd like some advice, if you need to connect with an attorney, please send an email to the address below. Do not describe what your invention or idea is. You can tell me about your trademark. That doesn't have to be kept confidential. Trademarks are a use it or lose it right. So if you have a trademark, you must use it or you lose it. Patents are not a use it or lose it right. A patent, once you have the patent, it's yours. It's yours for the 20 years. Whether you enforce it against someone or license it or do anything with it or not, you still get to keep the patent. But trademarks, you will lose if, you're, if you don't use it. It's a use it or lose it right. As you live the dream this week, I hope that you be the change that you want to see. A little subliminal message right behind me and rock on.